for my sling. But a daughter, it is a good fortune for Mwere. Because after giving seven sons, a chief must also sire a daughter. For a home without a daughter is like a spring without a sauce. That was the voice of the great chief Odero Kogni of Yimbo. Proud of the birth of his first daughter, a Koko Obanda by his second wife, a Ketch. It was the year 1873. And time, which is never static for a moment, witnessed the rapid growth of the girl Akoko. And soon there were suitors swarming around the chief's compound. He was a proud man, who turned away more than 12 suitors, for he desired nothing but the very best for his elder daughter, Akoko. She had to marry only a young chief, and at that, only a Mikai, the older wife, she would be. And Were, in his bountifulness, one mid-morning brought a tall young man dressed in a black and white colobus monkey headdress, a spear in one hand and a shield on the other, into Chief Odera Gokni's compound. He was flanked on his left by his younger brother Otieno, on his right by his uncle. Behind him were other men. Listen and watch how they negotiated. See them, father. Some more suitors for my sister Akoko. Ah, I see them. They are looking good. Now go, my son. Go and inquire into the nature of their business. I salute you people. Ah, my father, the great chief, Odero Gogni, sends me to inquire on the nature of your business. We salute you, young man. We are here on the purpose of betrothing our family to his, even as far as uh, we could have come earlier. Who are we not mourning for the for our late chief, who died last moon? But we came as soon as we could. For my nephew here, who now takes the seat of his father, urgently six of and it is unthinkable that the chief should be without wife. That is a situation that came so sudden, for he is turning 20 seasons old. Okay. <clears throat> your message is well received. I shall inform my father of your intentions. We were right, father. Ah, we were. We were. Now, go and tell the women to prepare Congo, the sweetest Congo, for we have guests, yeah? And tell Alo to be here. He is my chief spokesman. Tell him to be here urgently. And tell Jodongo there is plenty to be sipped around here. Yes, father. Yes. I salute you, people of Sakwa. And I welcome you into my duel. Please welcome. Welcome and settle down. Thank you. Settle down. journey all the way from Sako. Very yes. We shall just wait for one more elder to arrive and we shall continue. <laughs> Hello! I greet you all our visitors. And how may I ask is the savannah country of Sakwa? Okay. Mm. Are the rains adequate and the harvest plentiful? Mm. 
I heard that a strange malady striked and killed all the cattle in that place. Salute you, the doom of you. The rains were adequate, and the foods in the granary will feed our people even after the next harvest. The rains you had were the, the, I mean, not the rains, the, the rumors you had was true. But we are praise be his name, protected most of our cattle. And as you know, our late chief had only two sons and many daughters who will continue to bring back the wealth. Now, people of Saku, we will beg leave to go and console outside for a short while. Please feel welcome and continue with the call. Here we are at home, Chief. You can consult for as long as it takes us to finish this sweet call. <laughs> 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 But 12 suitors before this group. But I like this group. They're looking good. The young man is of good stock. And the old man is obviously a good spokesman. But I would like to trim the uh, arrogance a bit. Now, you are my chief spokesman. You have, you have always been. And you'll continue to be. I want you to set the bride price at 30 heads. 30 heads? Yes, 30 heads. Let them show us that our daughter will not go to starve in that God-forsaken land of theirs. All right, let us go back. I will set the bright person that heads. Yes. <clears throat> Brothers of Sakwa, because of the good duck we have between us, it is customary for you to marry our daughters and we yours. Uh, we have a great word between us. Because of the intermingling of blood, though this has not occurred before between our lines, we shall not make things difficult for you. Akoko Obanda is a great beauty whose assets have been sung by many a Nyatiti singer. From here to Chumba Kombit. From Sakwa to Lokawami. She is as fleet as a gazelle, so that her flying feet has been incorporated into the sayings of the village, so that mothers sending their daughters on errands tell them to run like a cock of the flying feet. Uh, we have taken proper care to bring her up properly. And uh, she has been taught all the requirements of chick. So she will not bring ruin or misconduct to her husband. She is also the oldest daughter of our great chief, whose fame is known all over the land. After careful consultation, we have decided that 30 heads of kettles should be the proper bride price. <coughs> My brothers, people of Nibu, we have listened carefully to what you have to say. And since the contract of marriage, it's a matter of great importance. We beg to leave and consult outside before we can return our baggage. Well, you are very free to do so. Heads? Those 
are enough to marry three wives. Uh, women are all the same, I was. Let's get out of here. I think, let us first listen to what my nephew has to say. Well, my father's and my uncle. I think you are mistaken. This is not just an ordinary wife. She's going to be my Mikai. Mikai is a very important wife for a man. Besides, I've already set my heart that I'll marry that woman. So, let, let us do just as they say. Uh, my, my nephew. I've heard what you have to say. And you are correct. Let us shock them by accepting what they have said. And honor's honor is something very important. And it is bad to live without it. Yes. By us accepting what they have said, will make you a great man. <laughs> and your praises will be from mouth to mouth. <laughs> you will be a worker, <laughs> a man of style. Yes. <laughs> a or who paid up his dowry without beginning. Yeah. Let us go in. Manoti wacho. I said to you, My, my brother, my father, must have been witched by these people of Yimbo. After listening carefully to this, me and my nephew have consulted. And we have agreed that on the 14th day of next moon, heads of cattle will be driven in by our young man mm -hmm. so that the marriage can take place. <laughs> People of Sakwa, uh, I have listened to your souls and I have accepted your souls. Uh, now, may Congo be brought and uh, so that we can uh, celebrate, yeah? yeah. And ask the women to bring the girl so that these people of Sakwa may see what a beautiful jewel we are giving them. Yes, what they're giving us. Brothers of Sakwa, mm. we are happy that we have reached an understanding. Mm. And uh, 